Okay, another review, this time of the Bellbone DF41 tripod. You've already seen my review of the monopod. This is basically the same basic technology as far as legs are concerned, but as a tripod it's got more sections in, uh, more to it, obviously the three legs, and it's a little section just to keep everything nice and, uh, nice and sturdy. It's got these lap legs here now, they basically keep everything as sturdy as they can, but they feel like a much cheaper plastic compared to everything else. They're still nice and strong, but you really wouldn't want to risk putting anything on them, okay? If you've got something that you wouldn't want to rest on the tripod itself, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it if it's too heavy. As it is, though, it's obviously not meant for that, so, you know, oh, just don't do that. Uh, the actual unit itself is actually quite light overall. It's got this little handle here which is meant to uh, control the extension section here but for the most part you can just push it and pull it as you need before locking it up with this section here. And then you've got the main section up here which has this little control lever to angle it up and down and then you've got this section here which you can unfasten like so to get whatever angle you want which is basically going to either be flat like that or horizontal. Nothing fancy to turn it upside down uh, 180. You've got this little lock mechanism here to stop this from going any further around. You've got this little release mechanism. Now this is an older version. They have actually, I think they've discontinued this particular version in favour of something else. I'm not sure of the model number of the new version, but it's essentially identical in all regards, except this top section has an entirely different design now. Okay, at least as far as the connection point is concerned. There's a section that you slot in here which connects to the bottom of the camera which unfortunately is still attached to that camera as I've got it hooked up to something else. I've got it piled up on books on top of a bookcase. Going old school there. Who needs two tripods? And that of course means that uh, if you are looking for this particular model you're probably going to get it second hand. And I wouldn't be too surprised if some people do start selling these off but the release mechanism is quite nice. Uh, once the actual locking part is in, this section here just locks in straight away and that's it. To release, just pull that out and then Bob's your uncle. It's free. The camera can go wherever you want it to go. And the actual legs are identical to what you get on the tripod version. Okay, so you got three legs, three sections that is, that lock out like that on all three legs. Uh, you don't get the same funky little screw design in the bottom like you did on the monopod. On this instead you get a rubber foot there. And that does the job quite well, that gives it a nice stability, especially indoors, which is what I've been using this for the most part uh, when I've been doing my other top-down reviews. I haven't actually used it outdoors yet, I haven't had an opportunity to try it uh, outdoors. For the most part when I go outdoors I'm uh, just basically holding the camera by hand and taking everything freestyle. Um, so I don't I don't really this time have any kind of montage to show you of me using my perfectly stable tripod in that regard. Not in this video anyhow. You can look at my other videos to see that because I have used it for those. It has got a lot of use in the year or so that I've had this. In fact I've had this longer than I've had my camera. Uh, I use a Canon 700D. Before this I was using a camcorder which I was hooking up to this and it worked quite nicely but yeah as it's basically the same it's essentially the same design as the uh, as the monopod the quality of the joints is exactly the same although they are slightly different sizes it's still hollow plastic but good solid plastic all the same and if you're wondering yes of course you could use this as a makeshift tripod okay as a, as a makeshift tripod if you're wondering, yes, of course, you could use this as a makeshift monopod, okay? You just keep the other two legs up like this and keep the other leg extended and you could use it in that fashion. But the design of the foot, the design of the foot basically means that, uh, you know, maybe not too practical. It's not designed to be used in that kind of regard, but that doesn't mean that you can't. And um, actual storage of it is incredibly good. Okay, it folds up quite nicely into quite a compact shape.
Well, if you don't have this section locked, it probably can be a bit of a pain to uh, push it down. The handle just goes down like that, and there you go, all nicely put away. You might want to actually lock this in position as well, and you do that by just turning the handle, like so. You don't need it too tight in that regard, you just need it tight enough so that you can actually put it away. Can you use it like a gun? Can you position it like it was a gun? You probably could, you could use that as a handle. And you could put that in your shoulder like that and pretend it's a gun. I don't think that's really too practical, but if you're a cosplayer and you're looking for something different to do with your tripod, then you might want to try that. It'll get people wondering what you're doing, but uh, you'd have to find some way to keep the legs wrapped together a little tighter. Maybe duct tape, or maybe some spray paint to customise it in some regard. But there you go, that's, in a nutshell, the Velbone DF41. I'm not planning on uh, getting any of the tripods, this will do me quite nicely for the time being, and probably for the next few years. If you can get hold of something like this, um, or the updated version, which I think is going for more or less the same money, then by all means, yeah, go get it, because it's good.